Hi everyone, today I'm doing a sign using the vCard desktop, generating the G code, showing you how to do that, and then using the easel software to be able to send the code to the machine. This is the sign that we're going to be doing. It is the Happy Mother's Day sign. I think that's appropriate. Let's get started. Oh, and hey, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button down below. Let's get started. Okay, to start with, I went ahead and opened up Inkscape and I loaded this image. This image is nothing more than a screenshot from my iPad. Yeah, that's right. A little something different. I sent the uh, image over to the laptop and I've brought it into Inkscape and now we're ready to go ahead and trace it. Now, I have not done a screenshot before. I'm thinking we might lose a little quality, but it's worth trying. All right, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and highlight the entire image. And I'm going to come up to Path, select Trace Bitmap. And I'm going to go over here. I've got it reduced to two colors. I'm going to hit an update. I think that's going to look fine. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now what that has done, that has created a trace. So I'm going to click this and slide it over. This is my original right here. I don't need my original anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that out of the picture. And the only thing I have left now is my trace bitmap. Now, for the image, I certainly don't want this information at the top. The other thing I can do is I don't need this any longer, so I can close that out. So I'm going to go over here to the node edit mode. And now you can see all the different nodes. So what I'm going to do is highlight this box. Come right across here. And then I'm just going to delete it. Now what is left is the image that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back and just click this to see the image. And that actually looks quite good. So from here I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay, now that I have the vCar opened, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. And the first thing I'm going to do is select the job setup. We are going to be doing a single sided. Okay, I have 16 inches. My height is going to be the 11 and a quarter. And it's three quarters of an inch thick. My z and we are going to stay in inches. My Z, zero position, is going to be on the material surface. And we're going to use the bottom left hand corner for my datum position, for my start point, zero, zero, for my X, Y axis. I don't need any of this. We're not doing any modeling. So at this point, I can hit OK. And that gives me the work area. Now what I'm going to do to begin with is go ahead and bring in an image. We're going to come back over here and we're going to highlight this where it says import the images. And under images, here is my Tigger and Winnie the Pooh vector. So I'm going to highlight that and open that. Now you notice that it's off the screen and that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and import my heart. So I have my heart with rows right here. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to take and slide that right up here into this corner. And we'll leave that there for a moment. And I have one more heart that I want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. Okay, and here is my heart vector. Go ahead and open that up. And you can see that. So I'm going to slide it. We're going to put it right up in here for right now. And then I'm going to click on my Tigger again. I'm going to highlight all of him. And then we're going to slide him over. 
and I want to put him right about there. I want that heart. Put it right in there, I think. And this actually is looking pretty good. Now, the next thing I want to do is add some text. So I think we're going to say Happy Mother's Day. And I'm going to go over here to the text box. And we're going to open that up. Okay, I typed in Happy Mother's Day. We're going to stay with this script. And I think I'm going to make the text a little bit larger. This is point eight zero eight. I think I'm going to go ahead and make it point nine. And I'm not going to worry about that. And let's apply that. So you can see that it's down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead now and take this. And we're going to slide it right over here. And actually, that's a little bit too big. So let's go ahead and make it to 0 .808. And let's apply. And you can see that instantly changed it. So now I'm going to slide this down just a little bit. All right, I like that position. So I come back up here. And I'm going to hit this little arrow, and I'm going to switch it over. And that brings up this whole set of window over here. As far as the material setup, it's a good idea to check it. We are still using my 00, zero point at the bottom left-hand corner. You can see that, and it's set for the material surface. So what I'm going to be using today is the V-Carve. And as far as my start depth, it is going to be 0. I do want to put a flat depth in here. I think I'm going to leave that at 0.1 because I don't want some of these areas going too deep. So just to be on the side of caution, I'm going to set that at 0.1 of an inch. We are using a V-bit. And I'm going to go back over here and check this. I like to be able to make sure for my setup and my machine, I like my plunge rate at 20 inches uh, per minute. So with that set, I'm just going to hit OK. The rest of this is good. Okay, the first thing I've got to do is select all the vectors. So it's going to go to the top left. And bring it all the way down to the bottom right. Now that I've got everything selected. Now then, I can go over here and hit Calculate. And it calculates everything. If I want to do a preview and see what it's going to look like, I'll hit the preview. And now I can see exactly what my sign is going to look like. I actually think that is going to look quite nice. That looks very good. A couple of things that I want to point out. If you look right up into the heart, you can see where it did carve down to that flat point of the point 0.1 inch and I think that's going to look good rather than digging deeper and deeper and deeper into the material and the same thing over on Tigger it did the same thing so I like the looks of that so now we can go ahead and close the preview to create the toolpath we're going to come back up on our menu and it says save toolpath so we're going to highlight that we only have one tool, and that was our 90 degree V-bit. So from there, we're going to be able to now just output all visible tool paths. We only have the one, so that is okay. This is it showing right here. Down here, as far as the post processor, this is the import important part. With the V-Carve 9, the X-Carve is actually already built into it. So all I had to do was go to the drop down menu and select it the first time and it keeps it. There's two different versions of the post processor in here. One is for inches and one is for millimeters. Since our drawing was done in the inches and that's what I used most often, I stay with the X-carve inches 
for my post processor. So the next thing I'm going to do is hit save the toolpath and I'm going to save it over in a G code folder that I have set up. You can see I typed in Tigger and Winnie and I went ahead and put vCarve so I know that it's a vCarve and I have my bit set in here at my 90 degree. I like to be able to do that it just keeps a good record of what I'm doing. So now I'm going to hit save and the toolpath is now saved. So I can go ahead and close this window. We'll close out of this completely and I'll open up um, easel and we'll load the toolpath into the software. Okay now I have easel open and I'm in a new file for a new project and what I'm going to do is come up to the import and I'm going to import g-code and what we're going to do is choose the file and I'm going to go over to my g-code folder and I'm going to select my Tigger and Winnie vCarve g-code and I'm going to open that file. There is the project displayed. Now it's important to note that I cannot change anything. Everything has been set in the um, vCarve so it is ready to carve at this point. We're ready to carve now so I'm going to go ahead and select carve. It does say as far as a disclaimer here, importing G-code. Hi there, you're importing the G-code. And it just makes sure that you understand what you're doing. So I'm going to hit I understand. Then we're going to continue going through this checklist. And we'll be ready to carve in just a moment here. We have material is secure. We are going to be using the probe. So I'm going to probe now to be able to get the Z-axis set. And then we'll continue. Okay, I've gone through the process. The Z axis is done. X, Y axis is done. So now I'm going to turn on the spindle. And I'm ready to be able to carve. This sign actually took a total of 22 minutes to be able to carve using the vCarve desktop and easel as the sender. It worked extremely well. I'm very happy with it. And, you know, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, especially to my wife. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you.